Okay, we're working with transformation matrices here with Mr. Rops, and we're going to do an example here where I have a 2x2 two two matrix, and I want to find it. So I'm going to call my 2x2 two by ma by two matrix A, B, C, D. And when I multiply this matrix times 1, 2, I end up with the point 5, 3. But when I also take the same matrix A, B, C, D, and multiply it by negative 1, 1, I also get the point negative 2, 3. And so I have four variables to find. That means I'm going to end up with four equations. So if I consider doing this, if I do this calculation, it's a times 1, b times 2, so it's a plus 2b will equal to 5. And I also know that, mm, that c plus 2d, c plus 2d will equal to 3. Okay, so that's from this bottom one. Again, if I look here, I can go a and b times negative 1 and 1, so it's going to be negative a plus b is equal to negative 2 from here. And similarly, negative c plus d will equal to 3. And so now I have four equations and four unknowns. And if I come along here, I can easily subtract these equations. Well, first of all, I can use poly simultaneous, but these ones are pretty straightforward. If I add these up, I get 3b is equal to 3, and so b is equal to 1. If b is equal to 1 here, it's negative a is equal to negative 3. If I put 1 in here, subtract it over, and so a is equal to positive 3. Similarly here, if I add them up, I get 3d is equal to 6, and so d is 2. If I plug in 2 here, it's minus c plus 2 is equal to 3, minus c is equal to 1, and so c is equal to minus 1. And so now my put it all together, my transformation matrix is 3, 1, negative 1, and 2.